Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a second since we've had our last construction update, but we're finally back here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I've been so busy between Halloween Horror Nights, Not Scary Farm, Haunted Hayride, which is the event I'm working this year. All dripped out tonight, wearing the Crocs and the onesie, because uh, after, after this video, I'm heading straight to work. So, um, yeah. Anyways, beautiful day in the park today. It doesn't look busy at all, but then again, the park, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 10.30 right now, but the park opened like an hour or two ago. So it shouldn't be that busy. Yeah, average wait time right now on the upper lot is 15 minutes. Downstairs, probably like 35 minutes on average because Jurassic is 10, Transformers is temporarily closed, uh, Mummy is 40, Bowser's Challenge is 100. But later on in the day, uh, Bowser's Challenge should drop down to like 30 minutes. That's been the average or standard wait time for Mario Kart. Just walking around the upper lot now, trying to see if there's anything new with this facade over here. But it, it looks like the, it, it's been pretty quiet. They haven't done anything recently, and this might be in result of Horror Nights. So we'll probably see some, some more updates on this facade a little later on, maybe in October or November. And Dracula's out right now. Hello. <laughs> Yes. No blood for you today. Sorry. I know. Uh, Horror Nights, and I'm working Haunted Hayride. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I'll eat maybe in November. That way, I can have some blood for you. All right. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Always nice seeing characters, especially familiar characters like Dracula. Love Dracula. He's here all the time. But it's really interesting how they they close off the plaza now in the daytime. Usually it'd be open for, for daytime guests, but I guess there is no point in having it open. They're playing my favorite type of music out here. Some like 1920s jazz or what is it called? Char Charleston music? Scooby and the entire gang is out right now, which is awesome. It's been a while since I've seen the entire gang out, but the mystery machine has been moved, obviously, because of Horror Nights. Uh, they also have this little, uh, little snack stand for Chucky. A lot of Chucky promotion this year. They have, obviously, the main popcorn bucket, which is still in stock, by the way. Um, but here are some of the other popcorn buckets they brought over. Obviously, they brought back the Studio Screamer popcorn bucket with Frankenstein. They have the light-up skull. I think that's the third year they're bringing back the light-up skull. And then uh, they also have some specialty, specialty Horror Night treats. So they have Chamoy pineapple spears. Um, and I, I really want to try that one out. And then they also have a knife cookie, candy corn cupcake. And then uh, here are the new freestyle cups and oh yeah there's the light up skull right in front of us it kind of feels weird being here in the in the daytime i always come at night now but i'm not gonna see horror nights well actually i might be here tonight for like the last hour after i get off work but i'm not gonna be able to see horror nights as often as i'm i normally do because uh because of work maybe wednesday nights in october i'll be able to come into horror nights but outside of that it's gonna be really, really difficult, especially with the other haunts going on right now. Uh, I wanna make a stop to Fright Fest next week. And, um, oh, one thing I wanna talk about is over here, remember how in earlier updates I'd be like, why don't they have any name on this tombstone? And it's because at the end of the maze, kind of a spoiler alert, but it says two, or you. And essentially, Muerte would walk up to you and, and say, this grave is for you. And so I thought that was clever. That's, that's really cool because I was always curious whose grave this is. It's fresh. They just put in the body. But whose grave is it? It's ours. So I don't know what time it is. Hold on, let me check. Okay, it, it's 1030 right now and Mel's Diner isn't open. They'll probably open in like the next 30 minutes, but... Kind of weird how they're they're closed right now 
I think they used Mel's Diner as a break room for some of the scare actors in the, the main haunted house and also the scare zone. And then the French Bistro Market is open right now as well. They have uh, really good crepes in there, highly recommend. This scare zone I really like, but the only thing that disappointed me was that the music is the same as last year's. They left the same La Llorona soundtrack over here. And I hope, I really hope they switch it up, mostly because it doesn't make sense to the theme. The theme is mummies. It's a theme to this mummy franchise that did really successful in the beginning, but started to fail. And then they, they came up with, with another franchise, I guess, like a sequel to the franchise, and it started being successful again. Anyways, it's themed to mummies, not La Llorona, and they play La Llorona music here. It's, it's kind of strange. Nothing too crazy going on over here looking at the Fast and Furious roller coaster that is being built currently. Uh, it looks like they might be doing some geo surveys. They do have some flags, little flags posted around the mountain. There's some on these uh, little railways. I'm not sure what that would uh, be in purpose for, but for the most part, oh wow. Okay, so they're clear they're still clearing up some trees down there, but this coaster moves pretty far back. I'm sure they'll start cutting down more trees later on this week. But they've removed all of the trees around this mountain aside from those four back there. And outside of that, we should see some some foundation asphalt work very soon. Probably not asphalt, but maybe more foundation once they start removing this last bit of animal actors. Like I mentioned in every video, it's it's really strange to see it like this. Uh, the other day I was driving down the freeway uh, heading towards Universal. I think it's the 134 to the 101 right over there. I was driving down there heading to the park and it just looks so strange to see the mountain all flattened out like this. I can't wait to see a roller coaster just flying around the mountain and also i don't know if you guys remember but in like two updates ago i was talking about minion cafe and how they should have some halloween offerings and i totally forgot about the evil mac and cheese they put talkies in the mac and cheese it's 9.99 um from what i've heard it's good it's just i don't like talkies so it's something I wouldn't like, but I like the normal mac and cheese. I just wish they had more um, Halloween offerings here. Outside of the evil mac and cheese, it's, there's nothing else. Gru is out right now. Where are the minions? Where are the minions? Well, they'll obviously be in the minion ride, but where are the minions? <laughs> Pets is a 15 minute wait, which isn't horrible. I haven't been on Pets in a second and I feel like I do have time to get on it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm gonna cave in. We'll, we'll take a look at the wait time. Oh my gosh, Norman is moving. His eyes aren't working though. Wait, that's kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs> Norman, what's going on? What's going on, Norman? This queue always reminds me of an Ikea. If you ever walk into an Ikea, kind of kind of looks like this just a bunch of furniture with no utensils or anything it's just furniture and this is where the line starts so probably like a five ten minute wait here thanks are so cool i'm surprised they're in like mint condition right now this ride has been open for over two years now i think it's been two and a half years officially actually the one that really really surprises me is this one Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite animatronic on the ride. I like how he just walks around. <laughs> it's funny. Very curious to see which dog we get. We're moving very slowly along this belt though. All right, let's see. Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Uh, oh, okay, okay. I don't know what type of dog this is, but whoa. <laughs> This is one of my favorite scenes in the Universal ride. This big reveal is so awesome. Also very, very impressive for a Universal attraction. So awesome. 
Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about this new app I'm using. It's called Log Ride, a ride log. And you can essentially log every time you enter a theme park. So you don't have to count. You just press check in on the app and you check into a theme park. And then if you ever get on a ride, you just press the plus button by each ride's name. And you can just check how many times you've been on a ride each year. And it, it just keeps track for you. It's a, it's a really cool concept. I just use my notes app, or I used to only use my notes app. Now I log it on the, the log ride app. It's really, really useful. I like how I'm casually talking about this while on the, on the ride here. <laughs> I've definitely been on this ride a little too much. 86 times to be a little precise here. I guess 87 now. So I'm a little desensitized, but I still find this attraction incredible. It's so cool. Oh, a little bit of lag going on here on the screen. <laughs> That's okay. This is also a really, really cool effect. I don't know how they do that. Honestly, not even mad. I'm used to the lag. <laughs> Mostly because my iPhone is just always lagging. I don't know why. I need to get a new iPhone one of these days. Maybe when the 15 comes out, I can trade in the 14. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, it's gonna ruin my hair a little. That's okay. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? Wait, hold on. There's a ghost on this ride. That's for sure. What are we gonna get? Yeah. Actually, I don't. No. No. I don't want to come. I don't want to go home with you guys. I don't. I don't know who you are. I'm actually a human. <laughs> okay. I was heavily considering on getting some Starbucks right now, but I just took a quick peek. Just a quick peek from the window. Look how many people are in here. It's quite a few. Quick stop inside of the studio store to see if they have any new merchandise here. Oh, actually they do. Oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. They have these really, really nice... Oh, Eddie. Eddie's on it. Oh, my God. And so is Max. These really cool glass mugs. I don't know what these are. Are they just cups? They're just cups, huh? 12 bucks. Oh, my goodness. We have Eddie Munson's guitar. No real strings on it. But... Oh, it's a sipper? How clever, $24, that's not horrible. That's, that's really interesting. Just looking around right now, oh my gosh, this robe is a need. I need to get that, let's see. Oh, they have some tote bags here. I don't think these are new actually. Some tote bags, oh, that's a new shirt. New shirt over here for The Last of Us. I was waiting for them to release a t-shirt. I'm not a fan of the long sleeve sweaters like, I, I honestly can't wear those. Like, if I get hot, there's no way of removing it. Unless I wear a shirt underneath. But, you know. Uh, cool little shirt. It says Horror Nights 23 in the back. It's cool. I like it. They also have Last of Us coasters. A little, stra a little strange how they would put the graphic here and then the, the logo on the side. I guess it works. If you position it like this, maybe it's maybe it's better, but very cool. I like these coasters. Wait, they brought back these Chucky candles. I don't know if this is the new one or the old one. Let's let's take a look. Fail. <laughs> you guys already know what's up. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, it's the new one. Um, I I don't know what it smells like to be honest. Okay, wait, hold on. I can't open any. Oh, there we go. It smells really, really familiar. It's like a sherbet. It's like a sherbet. Oh, look. They brought back the um, phone cases here. These are all new. They don't support any of the older ones. Oh, actually, that's surprising. They, they have iPhone 11 and XR. 
But um, these Stranger Things ones are for 12, 13 Pro Max. These, uh, wait, do they not have 14 Pro? Oh my gosh, they don't have 14 Pro. Okay. <laughs> no, I needed a new phone case as well because my phone case is broken, but I guess even even better reason to get a new phone. Honestly, I forgot what these candles smell like, so we're gonna we're gonna do one more of these. This one's easier. This one smells like really sweet. It smells like bug spray. I don't know. You guys ever smell bug spray and just like love the smell? That's what that one smells like. There's a water world showing right now. I suppose I could watch it. <gasps> Dogs out? What? Okay. Let's go watch Waterworld. I haven't seen Waterworld in so long. I've been addicted to this Purge show. Let's go check it out. Honestly, huge fan of the Purge Dangerous Water show. They do such a good job. Here's today's cast for anyone that's wondering. All right, let's go. Purge, purge, purge. I'm just kidding. Probably the emptiest I've ever seen Waterworld, there's literally one person sitting on that side. Should I be the, okay, I, I think I'm gonna go sit on that one side. Oh. Let's try not to get sprayed here. I'm gonna be the one person sitting here. And I trust him with my life. Now that you're staying with us in the Angel, and I hope that you do. I'm the only one sitting here. First of all, everybody look down. If you're sitting in a green seat, guess what? Will get I probably should move wet. up. Okay, next of all, very important. The waters behind us are filled with smokers. Smokers are pirates, thieves, and bad guys. They will not hesitate to destroy all that we have built. And that is where all of you beautiful people come in. With so many of you, you guys are going to act as our lookouts to the smokers. And how we do this, we make as much noise as we can. So right now, I need to see how loud we can get. Bats, can you favor my friend? Come over here, help me out here for a second. You're going to take this section over here Aww. from the stairs. Oh, my skeleton friend over there, we're not leaving you up. Yeah! <laughs> my section is this section right here. All right, so. Oh, they could do way better than that. <laughs> I said, my section, get loud! All right, we're going to work on that. Bats, let's see what you got over there. Ah. Uh, we can beat that, right? Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, all the times I've seen the show, the I've never seen it alone in one section. This is kind of crazy. No, 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 one last time, everybody together, as loud as you can on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Uh, Give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this performance. <laughs> I swear. Okay, we're good. Oh no. Not me, not me. Okay, good. <laughs> Great show. <laughs>
little kids got my golf ball. No, it's okay. We might actually need these people. Bag this. Oh! Brothers and sisters! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> hey, Deacon! You hear that? Deacon, I won't bite you. Neither will the Mariner. The Mariner? Hey, Chuck, shut that gate. You talking about your boyfriend? Your half man, half fish boyfriend, the guy that poked out my eye? Yeah. Is that who you're talking about? Huh? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bring me the girl. Leave him alone. He doesn't know anything. That makes you the winner. Helen! Don't you tell him anything! Oh, and this guy, he's the loser. Drop him! No! Mariner's under the water. Guys, I need gunfire now! This guy, this guy. Well, don't just stand there, kill something. Hey! Guys, scream. Get that girl for me! Go, 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 come back. Where are you going? The Mariners right over here. Listen to me very carefully. When I say take this guy's head off, I want you to take this guy's head off. Oh, that's it. Take his head off. Oh. He's got guns. He's got water. He's kicking our butts. A lot. You're not going to ruin my plans for dry land, you kill that mutated freak. That's all you are is a freak. Chuck, I need a weapon now. I'm glad Can that you? that's not Man me. Man against fish. Oh Come boy. Get it. There we go. Toa. And fish. <laughs> you got something on your. Oh. Sorry, my bad. I need something bigger. Ask, and you shall receive. Hey, fish boy, look what I found. Big Bertha. <laughs> uh, okay. Why don't you do me a favor up there and stand in one spot? Let's go, Chuck. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh. No. So you're going to use Chuck as some kind of shield? Well, I never liked Chuck. No, not Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Golly G. A Oh. You should probably run. Great idea. That was a great show and it was so cool that I was the only one, literally the only one sitting in the section. That's really, really difficult, almost impossible. Uh, but it was really cool because uh, I had so many unique character interactions. Like throughout the show, they were just like point to me and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Another view onto the coaster. Actually, I think we should go down one and get a closer view onto that. I would take the stairs, but I'm wearing Crocs and I just, I feel everything. If, it just feels like I'm walking barefoot in the park right now. But yeah, they're working pretty quick. Here's a closer view. It's so cool that we can be 
this close to the construction site. I'd imagine they put walls or something soon. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary just because they won't be like working right here. And it's like kind of far apart and there's a gate. So I don't know. We'll see what they do. Also a heads up for Horror Nights. If a haunted house at the lower lot at least exceeds 150 minutes, that means the, the line is closed off to general admission. It's kind of strange that they do that, but I, I understand they can't accommodate the, the demand. They can't supply the demand. There's way too many people in the park. There's way too many people that want to go to those specific haunted houses at the lower lot, such as The Last of Us and Stranger Things and The Exorcist. So at times they're going to have to close off the queue when it's a little too popular just because they can't accommodate everyone in a, in a small queue. The Last of Us queue is massive. It starts off from the back there, goes around. Uh, I think you wrap a few times back there all the way to the, where, what used to be Toxic Tunnel. And then you go back around down here to the entrance. They set up the queue very different. Whereas before the entrance used to be down there, you would wrap around a few times here, go all the way down, wrap around there, and then come back down. But I think it would be smarter if they start the queue down there. Uh, just because they have so much more walking room, so they could just have people walk all the way around, and they'll be able to supply more of the demand. The Exorcist queue is very, very small. Just uh, starts off, I think, in Soundstage 22, so the, the soundstage over this one. It comes out, wraps around a few times here, wraps around a few times in that little alley, and then you turn right, and you're in. And for some reason, the Stranger Things queue is very, very small. Smaller than previous years that they've had houses in that location. I'm not too sure why. It might be a fire code because of uh, the Super Nintendo building back there. But um, they should definitely start utilizing the sound stages for cues, um, especially for air conditioning. Orlando does that a lot. They have the soundstage house and then they have a soundstage queue for a lot of their haunted houses. I don't think holiday, I don't think I've, I've personally never seen holidays reach capacity in its queue, but I've seen a really long wait for that. I've seen most of the queue filled up. And that's usually when all of these houses have full queues. A lot of people just tend to go down to holidays. But that will ultimately wrap up our update here at Universal. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm JP and how they say in the movies. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one.